The Purple Gang began terrorizing Detroiters with oh, the street no. executions of their enemies. Damn. What is this, the fucking Mexican cartel? You ain't getting. Hanging them from bridges and shit? Right. Among their victims was city police officer Vivian Welsh, uh-huh. killed on February 1st, 1927. He was later revealed to be a dirty cop. I'm sure he was. Who was... I mean, his name's Vivian. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a dirty cop who was uh, supposedly trying to extort money from the Purple Gang. Oh. The gang was also accused of murdering Jerry Buckley in Uh-oh. 1930, who was a well-known radio figure. Oh, no. Why would he do that? Right in the lobby of a downtown hotel. Oh, what did Buckley do? Owe money and fire gambling debts or something? That, or he's talking shit about him on air. Oh, corruption everywhere. Yep, he was fucking basically outing everybody. Like, dude, you guys shut your mouth. In 1930, Buckley's programs increasingly focused on claims of graft and corruption among various Detroit officials, including allegation of organized crime ties to uh, then Mayor Charles uh, Bold. Yeah, he had to shut him up. Along with Once the he public mentioned the mayor. works commissioner and police commissioner. Oh, no. Bootleggers and speakeasies operated extensively during Prohibition in Detroit using nearby Windsor as a conduit mm-hmm. uh, to funnel the alcohol, and Obviously. gangland killings were frequent. His denunciation of city government made the program Detroit's most popular radio broadcast. Yeah. Yep. And culminated in a successful recall of Mayor Bowles. Oh, so that was probably like their uh, hand-chosen guy. Right. Um, on the night of the successful recall, Buckley was approached by three men and shot 11 yep. times. Yep, there it is. In the lobby of the LaSalle Hotel in Detroit, where WNBC-MBC's studios were right. located. There it is. That's what we're oh. looking for. After his murder, Police Commissioner Wilcox alleged that Buckley was a known extortionist and racketeer oh. who had likely been killed because of his underworld connections. Right. Look at it. Do. No, yeah. no, the oh. police commissioner that's oh. dirty right. is trying to smear Buckley's name <laughs> on, uh, in all of this right. and trying to accuse him like he was some fucking uh right in his attempt to tarnish buckley's reputation wilcox produced an affidavit stating that the slain radio commentator had been paid four thousand in protection money by a bootlegger the affidavit was soon dismissed as having been co- coerced buckley's brother paul a former assistant prosecutor claimed the murder was orchestrated as revenge for the campaign against the mayor yeah. obviously yeah wow uh, in his response michigan governor fred w green directed the state to to uh, investigate the murder separately from the Detroit Police Department, State Police. Uh, the investigation was taken to a grand jury by prosecutor and future governor, governor Harry Kelly. Although henchmen belonging to Detroit mobster James Blackie Lakovis, Lakovoli's gang were arrested, no convictions were secured obviously. for the killing. The gunmen were later identified as Russell Syracuse, Joseph English, and uh, John Mirabella. Nice. All right, Joe Emmett Buckley. Oh, yeah, this dude was... Uh, Speaking the truth, gets moited at 39 years old. Yeah. Yep, you didn't do that shit. Well, once he got the mayor out of there, he was like, mm, damn it, guys, we got to take care of him now. The say that he owed us a bunch of money. Right, I mean, that was obviously their uh, appointed guy that they wanted since he was all dirty, too, so. Right. That's, that's the thing. Nowadays, you can get away with that. And ain't too many journalists, well, in the United States, anyways, that I know of. Some are, unless you're, if you're related to Hillary. What? Getting killed for uh, exposing things. But yeah, back in the day, you couldn't just... Uh, couldn't do that, man. Nope. Gangs will take your ass out quick. Instantly. In the, in the lobby of a fucking hotel with everybody watching. Who you cares, right? No cameras, right? no nothing. Nobody can say shit. Well, we, like we just read about whether the Purples were involved with Buckley's death is disputed as the police suspected the local Sicilian mob who we just said. Clearly. And uh, no one was charged in either case, and both of the murders remain officially unsolved. unsolved. I mean, that's what happens. You know how many unsolved murders back then there are? Well. You know how many unsolved murders there are now? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> 